Just like that. Hey. What up, y'all? <laughs> you see, I got my shirt on. Y'all gotta go get y'all shirt. Y'all wild shirt. only shirt. Get your shirt. Get yeah. your shirt. Get it. Shirt. I will get drop the link shirt. below. Wild shit only. You know how we get down. Some wild shit going on for real. Wild shit only. <laughs> In all aspects of wildness, it goes on. Get that shirt. Yes. And also, don't forget to register, sign up for whatever the hell it is for our Let's Just Go trip next year, March 2022. Yes. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, March 2022. I know that's right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's you and your go. boo. You and so your girl. today we you have your special boys. guest, Let's Queen go. B. Tell them who you is, girl. Where you at? How they can find you? Let's do it. Yo, it is what it is and it do what it do. All right, y'all. My name is Queen V83. You can find me on YouTube, Queen V83. That's me. And also on TikTok, Queen V83. This queen got three E's in it. Just let y'all know. No. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me with three E's. Yes. yes. No worries. No worries. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So we're going to get into this topic here. Do you love with your heart or do you love with your head? Not the head down there, but this one. Okay. You know. The one that you think with. People mind being the gutter sometimes. And then, you know, with black girls going wild, ain't no telling what kind of head they think. We talking about. Because anything will come out of her mouth. I'm just saying what people be thinking for real. So. I mean, but you said your head, so you, a lot of people think with that other head now. So they, do. they think with it, they love with it, all that. Mm -hmm. We gonna talk about the brain. This what? Well, damn, the brain don't make no. Oh, we gonna talk about your mind. How about that? Mind. Gotcha. Gotcha. Your mind. Mm -hmm. So, do you love with your heart and or your mind? Somebody. Anybody. For me, within my last forty years of living. 40 years old. I love saying that. Anyways, I can say I love with both my heart and my head, right? Your brain, your head. I love with both. Um, I think this love with my heart is kind of working out. You know, we went together about 10 years with a baby, but I have love with both. Um, not saying that love with your head is wrong, it's, mm -hmm. you know, to each his own, but for me, mm -hmm. love with my heart has got me, you know, get my love back that I that I need and I deserve. Which okay. Think? What about you, Queen? Yes, yes. Hmm. As I ponder this question, um, <laughs> I would say it's in phases because maybe when you were young and you was brand new to love, you love with your heart because you wear your heart in your sleeves and all your emotions and everything. But as you get older, you realize this thing here gets you in trouble. So you yes, got to be wise and too. think what you hear. That, that one do too. It, it it depends. That's what I'm saying for the situation. Yeah. It depends. Because loving it, with your head sometimes mm -hmm. don't be the right thing. Because I have looked my head once thinking, oh, I'm supposed to because, you know, mm -hmm. X, Y, Z. And it ended up being bad. So like I said, mm -hmm. Loving with my heart this last time around is, has been very successful. So I want to go back to this supposed to, but before I give my uh, queen, mm -hmm. go ahead and finish what you was going to say about how you love. Yeah. Or was you done? Um, I, I was, I was just going to say that when you are young, you love with your heart. And as you get older, you may love with your mind, but it all depends on the maturity of that person. Um, it's kind of hard to really answer this question because you flip flop in you love and out of love from the head to the heart, the heart to the head, depending on which one is being affected. This is a really deep question. You're right. Wow. That is so that. true. Um, that is so true. My answer is I believe that a lot of people start to love with their head first, with their mind first. Really? I do. You think so? I do. I think so because, you know, when you meet somebody, 
You be girl, thinking about them. You be like, oh, <laughs> I wonder what they doing. I want to talk to them. I miss them. Blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Like, you could be three days in or three weeks in just having good conversation with somebody. You be like, mm, I like them. You know, mm. I think you love, mm -hmm. well, I think you love a lot of people with your head first. And then eventually it grows into something in your heart. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong, but it's just me, what I'm thinking. You know, you be you be all in your mind first. Everything be in your mind first. But is that really in your mind though? For me, I believe it starts in your mind first. I mean, well, I believe it starts in my head first. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. I don't know, you know. Everybody and see, like, that's another thing. Mm -hmm. mean and stuff and stuff so <laughs> one of our viewers you know I posed the question to them and one of our viewers said that it's like like you Quinn V it's kind of a loaded question you know what I'm saying because you she put it as in you you go and lead them with your heart but at mm -hmm. the end you end up leading with your head you know what I'm saying? Because your heart is all gushy and in love. And, you know, everything is all good at first. And mm -hmm. then, you know, reality kicks in. You know what I'm saying? And the honeymoon yeah. stage is over. So you start loving with your head. Are we compatible? Is this something that, you know, these mm -hmm. traits is something I can deal with? You know what I'm saying? Well, don't you think that, that should have started in the beginning? Instead of no, because in the beginning, it's, it's mm -hmm. like what you said. There is all it's you know, new, you're all my mind, it's all lovey dovey, you know, everything is great in the beginning, mm -hmm. you know, nothing is ever, you know, that bad in the beginning. That's right. why, you know, that love is there, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So she put in that aspect, and I was like, that that makes sense, and that kind of goes to a little bit to your maturity, cream V. Like, you know, yeah. in the beginning, it's all lovey-dovey. And then once the relationship progressed and you, their representative, it has removed themselves. Oh, you know, here. nice word, representative. You know what I'm saying? Then in your head, you're like, okay, the love that I have for this person in my heart, you know, can I, can we, can I get past some of the dislikes? Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? That's in your head. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but wouldn't it no, be considered? I don't know infatuation, because in the very beginning, is something brand new. It's it's a new you experience. It's, it's like they don't do toy. anything wrong. Yeah. Yes, and you just you play know, with it. Flies and feel all good and inside. I'm thinking it's about them. <laughs> it's my favorite toy. <laughs> yes. Can't wait to get home to see it. And don't let nobody else play with your toy. F this toy. That's how you do. You just F this toy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. I want a new toy. Yeah. Right. But that's when I guess is that your head or your heart that come into play when you be like, F this toy, I want a new toy. But then you have to be like, well, not you have to be like, but then you be like, Mm, maybe I'll play with this toy a little bit longer. At that point, do you think it's it's your heart that you're loving with, or you you still loving with your head at that time, or are you back to loving with your head at that time? Because I do believe mm. there's a flip flop in it. I really do believe that there's a flip flop. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I can agree. You know, I I can go in loving with my heart and all this and all that, and then something may happen. You know, something may happen. Mm. Now I got a question. Hmm. That's when you. That's when you're living with your head. Does the good outweigh the bad? You know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. can I? Can my the love from my heart? You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I still. Just, I still believe it's you know what I mean? first, and then it leads to your heart. In my opinion, but that's again the, for me. But I I see it like this because with your heart is full of emotions. And emotions fluctuate, mm -hmm. feelings fluctuate, but the reality mm -hmm. is whether I love you or not, you still don't have a job. Whether I love you or not, I see that you have a shortcoming. Whether I love mm -hmm. you or not, we 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 need some help in this area. You know what right. I'm saying? Both of us, not just yeah. me. Yeah. So it's yeah. like yeah, yeah. those feelings are there. So it's like, do you base a relationship to me? When you say heart, I'm thinking feelings. So when yeah, you say head, it's like yeah. logical. 
It's like yeah. one plus one equals two, no matter what day it is. Right. So right. it's like, I love you past how I feel. I can't stand you right now, but don't leave this house. Because if you leave this house, I don't know what you're going to do. So be mad with me in this house. That's okay. love to me with your head. But with my heart, I'm like deuces. I don't care about you, your mama, that dog, whatever you got going on. <laughs> Bye, baby. So, don't care. so would you say that loving somebody with your heart is unconditional love and loving them with their head is conditional love? It's the other way. I think living with your head is unconditional because okay. you love so the person too. in spite of, in okay. spite of. So, okay. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. I'll go for yeah. that. I think I'll so too. Mm -hmm. You know, for a long time, and I might still be like that today, I don't know, but for a long time, I guess I based my love off of, and I know this probably going to sound like so messed up, maybe, or whatever, but. Somebody asked me a long time ago if I loved the person. And my response mm. was, if they die, I cry. So I guess so. I said that. <laughs> and when we were talking about this, as I was writing my notes and, you know, what I wanted to say, I actually wrote that down that that is how I used to be like, I guess that's I how you, you measure if you, you care about somebody, you cry. So I might love, there's some kind of love there. Let me say that. Not like, oh my God, I love you. You're going to be my dude. You're going to be my dude. You're going to be my boo. Yeah. Not like that. But I have some kind of love for you in any aspect. If it's a friendship, relationship, entanglement, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Mm -hmm. If I shed a tear, if I think about you dying and that makes me sad and cry, then obviously I have some love for you. I don't know if I'm wrong. <laughs> I wouldn't say that you're wrong, but that's your truth and that's your reality. Yeah. You believe your mind or whatever you went through in life told you, if I shed a tear, this constitutes and me loving this person, some aspect, right. whether it's a like little bit or a lot. Absolutely. Right. In some right. form. But to me, when I watch a commercial that make me sad and I cry, that don't mean I love the commercial. It's just oh, sentimental. Well, it touched my heart. Yeah, <laughs> that's you know, exactly. So you have feelings. So you got right. heart. You got heart. Yeah, gangsters need love too. So you're right. What <laughs> they made a song about it. Ooh, gangsters need love. Too. Not today. Can I be your background? Can I be your background? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, he said not today. We got it next time. <laughs> so mm. okay, so if we're talking about loving with your head and your heart, you know, the people who've been married say, first time I got married for love, second time I'm gonna get married for money, right? I've so do you that. think those people who get married for money the second time uh, go in loving that person? They go in with do benefits. You think they grow to <laughs> love that person eventually. I used to think so, but now after you know some of these people married and divorce, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I don't and know. that's the thing. What is the definition of love? If you really think about it, the, I, me, I, my, it's whatever you make it. Because I'm that's not what I was about to say. What, that's, what that's I feel but that's like messed doing, up. You know, you may not feel smoke. You may mm -hmm. not feel Queen B. You know what I'm saying? Queen V. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like everybody. Yeah. Everybody's. You know, definition of love is different. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think when you you're meeting somebody, you have to find out what each other love language is. That Thank you. Help, you know that'll definitely help in the love department. That's something that I wish you know I would have known years ago. But what else? Yeah. It is what it is. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I think I think loving somebody is also a part of what is their love language. Are you loving them how you were taught to love, or how you feel is right to love? Or do you love them how they need to be loved? Right. Mm. So now you said need to be loved versus wanted to be loved. I'm sorry, I need to cut you off. No, no, no. You fine. Like, you know, you might love me, not you per se, but a man. A man might love me the way he loved somebody else that he's dated. You know what I'm saying? We two different people. So you can't show us love the same way you showed love the last time because exactly. to me, the way you show love. I might be like, my G, what is right. this? 
You know, right. I, I might not, and he might be showing the love how he know how to show love. Right. But I don't mm -hmm. see it. Yeah. Right. Because he ain't loving me how I need to be loved, and vice versa. Correct. You know, I can cook, clean, do whatever my dude want me to do, and all he mm -hmm. wants to do is rub his back when he get off work. You know what I'm saying? That might be yep. all he need, or he might just need to say, "Bae, I love you," or "Thank you," or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So Ooh. it's how you, it's how they need to be loved, not how you yes. want to love them. You know what I'm saying? Because people are taught how to love. You know? Right. Right. But really? Yes. That's something that you can't teach. In my opinion, you can't you can't teach that. Well, really. How you gonna teach somebody how to love? Just I mean you, you can have teach kids. me how to love, but you can't teach me how to love the person I'm with. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't I'm saying because you know, as a child, we teach too, you know, our kids how to love. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, but what you saying? can't teach me how to be with the person. Like if I call you, you know, homegirls call each other. You can give me your advice on how you would handle the situation, or you not even how you handle the situation. You can tell me this is how you need to love that man. You need to, you need to cook. You need to clean. You need to buy him five hundred dollar cologne every time you get paid. You know what I'm saying? You can tell me all that, and I could do all those things, but that ain't what he need. But that's not that's not necessarily. I don't know how to. You know, you you don't know how to love. You just have to tweak how you love if that makes sense because everything else to it to that person that's showing them that you love them you know what i'm saying like i'm keeping the house clean i'm doing this and that's you know me showing the love that's like okay i love and i appreciate all this but i also need you know xyz you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah, yeah i get it i get it i mean that's what i've always been a strong believer oh go ahead i'm sorry no you've always been a strong believer go ahead queen v I always been a strong believer when people say, um, like men say, I know how to love women or, you know, I know how to do this with women. I'm like, don't love women. Love the one you're with. Because you all with women, work. everybody ain't, ain't going to accept what you offer because what worked for her ain't going to work for me because we two different yeah, chicks. In different that case, things. if you think, yeah, and it's, it's, it's crazy. Like the last person you was with, you might have bought wow. them thousand dollar mm -hmm. purses you know what i'm saying you might have came home every friday or every time you got paid with a thousand dollar purse but this person mm -hmm. really don't care about none of that so it's like right. okay thank you yeah so what You're is right. that man gonna do when that girl or that, that lady come to him one time and be like hey, hey don't you buy me no more goddamn purses tell so him that's love language that's what communication come in tell me what you exactly what you and like, that's, what that's, you want. that don't mean he gonna to stop you. doing those things because that's his mm -hmm. love language. That's what he likes yeah. to do. That's how he shows. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you know, cut them at the knees of, you know, what they're doing, how they like to show their love. Just, you know, add a little bit of spring all the time. I mean, go ahead, keep on doing this, but I also want you to bring me flowers. I love flowers. Go ahead, bring me that Gucci purse, too. No, I'm, you know? I'm not mm -hmm. saying, I'm, am I wrong if I say stop buying me purses? I don't want no more. I, I no. not wrong for saying that. If 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 I had a man that that's how he wanted to show me that he loves me, that he buy me a brand new purse every time mm -hmm. he get paid. Hey, baby, don't buy me no more goddamn purses. Am I wrong for saying mm -hmm. that? Have I now? Re have I really cut him off from showing me love? That's the only way he know how to show it. But I mean, that's not the only. But maybe that's how you know. That's his love language. That's what how he likes to show. That's not the only thing he probably does. You know, other things that you probably don't even see as a love language, but that's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's another thing too. You got to teach a person how to treat you. You got to teach a person how to love you. And you got to right, teach a person how to respect like, you. Well, so dang, it's all. I bought her this purse and she don't even appreciate yeah. it. You know, I'm doing that. And it's not even. A... And I bought her this purse. Yeah. So that was like them was slapping the face because this is how I show my love. I know you Isn't... love that, but this is coming from me. But if we have, I'm like, baby, save your money. I do appreciate it. <laughs> go ahead, mm -hmm. Queen V. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just saying, baby, save your money. Buy, buy something else. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, if we have a conversation, you know, and I do, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, I appreciate the gift. I, I thank you for the purse. Can we talk about you not buying it no more? Okay, black girl gone wild back there. All right, now. What happens when you have a four-year-old? You know, anything happens. Oh, life, life don't stop for nothing. Nope. Did I do that wrong? Keep going. Keep on going. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> that's <laughs> level with your heart. Cause my head right now. Yeah. Booter in the you know. <laughs> See. But I'm level with my heart. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, you know. Wow. <laughs> Love is a it's definitely a crazy thing. It is. And it and it it, it takes you through stages. Cuz you can't mm -hmm. go back and forth back and forth back and forth. Cuz you love with your heart and then like you said something happens and it triggers that brain. And then the love for the heart for me is it strong enough? Does it beat Fast enough? Mm -hmm. Does it full? Is it full enough to you know continue on this life journey? You know what I'm saying. So, so it goes to your head, but it goes back to your heart and your head at the same time. Wouldn't that be a constant fight with, within yourself? It's I'm a balance. You, you got to. It, yeah. I'm, but I'm saying it's a struggle. Like you can not love with your head and your heart at the same time. And not at the same time, but it goes in waves. Yeah, I agree with that. I yeah, just feel no, I was not just the wondering same time. if anybody thought they could love with their heart and their head at the same time because I just feel like that would be you would literally go fucking crazy. Like, bro. Because mm. it'll be a constant battle of what's going on. What am I doing? What do I need to do? What am I supposed yeah. to do? What should I do? Mm -hmm. What should I do? Right. That's my heart it right there. Go and my head said me to stay and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. So. Well, Do you think it's okay, well, think of, yeah, but think, think of this scenario. If you say you love with your head and your heart, if you wake up and you and your husband or your significant other get into it that morning and he's at work and he called you and said, baby, I don't have any lunch money. Can you come up to the job, spot me 10? You may be angry with him because with your heart, your feelings are like, I don't care if you starve the day. But because right. you love him, you know his belly yeah, needs half the something in it. You may mm -hmm. actually make him some. You may actually put a little sandwich with one piece of bologna. Bam! It's something that you did, but you may still it's go cool. out your way to do that. Because I think that love, true love aspect will supersede that feeling. Because mm -hmm. you may see him and that bad feeling may go away. So that's one yeah. thing about the emotions and, and women. Oh my gosh, we got so many of them. Yeah. <sighs> It's too much. It's too much. It's a lot. Mm -mm. Yeah. Wow. And these men just as emotional these days too. Yeah, we just as they emotional. act like they're not. The, those are the ones that are the most emotional. The ones that act like they're not. <laughs> Them the ones that mm -hmm. are the, the one that act like they harder than hard. Be the ones that yeah. be crying, okay? Or In they the they don't cry. They bitch and complain too. It's just another mm -hmm. form. They cry when Wait, nobody It's knows another them. form, but they bitch and complain too. I don't see those cry. They cry. Mm -hmm. Niggas cry. Hey, that's a song. And I see it. They cry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they do. Wow. Gangsters need love too. Mm -hmm. They so do. That's I, I need love. I'm, I am the gangster that needs love. One day. <laughs> One day. Whew, one day, because these men out here is horrible. Mm. Yeah. One day I will. I Maybe it's know. where we located at. I don't know. I think it, so. I think love <laughs> is how people teach love to people or whatever. The standards for what what I thought love was was something that you had to meet, not something you can just walk over, which means it's just easy. To just do because I thought it was something that was worth fighting for. It's like now nah, it's like well, if I don't get it from you, I mean, they'll I give it to me. Right like, person, I believe that yeah. it's worth fighting for. Mm -hmm. With the right person, I yeah. believe it's worth fighting for. But yeah, with the wrong person, it's gonna be a constant fight. Wow, a yeah. constant fight. That's what I believe. It's gonna be a constant mm -hmm. fight with the wrong person. Mm -hmm. uh, and That's it's gonna crazy. be a fight about anything. You know, it's just, mm -hmm. it's just, you don't need to be there, basically. Right. Mm. But that's but, where it comes in communication. Yeah. Communication. Love is a lot. <laughs> it has, love is a lot. I don't care. It has a whole bunch on top of it. It's a lot. You can love with your head, your heart, your mind, your body, your soul. It's a lot. Your hoo-hoo. Yeah, and your, your ha-ha. Yeah. Your ha-ha. Your ha-ha. I mean, why not? <laughs> and your ha-ha, you know? And look, at everybody does it. See what works for you. But for me, 
leading with my heart work for me. Okay. You feel like you leave you 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 lead more with your heart, uh, Queen V, or what? No, you don't know. Hoppo, who you talking to? You, you silent, boo. No. Uh uh. She having technical difficulties, y'all. Oh man. Okay, and I knew well, that answer was going to be juicy, too. I, I knew was. it was going to be I, juicy. <laughs> Y'all just going to have to wait and see what it was at a later time, I guess. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, well, guys, <laughs> that was our show for today. We have technical difficulties, so obviously the guards are telling us, girl, it's time to go ahead and go. Right. <laughs> so we're going to get out of here. Again, follow us Peace. on Instagram, text us. Tweet us, DM us, whatever. DM us, yes. You and don't forget to hit up Come Queen V. Don't forget up Queen V. She on IG, YouTube, TikTok. Hit her up. Yeah, you got to check out her video. She's hilarious. Okay? <laughs> also, get your shirts. Let's just Yes. Let's get them this. shirts. Get them shirts. Wow, shit on me. Get them shirts. Bye, y'all. Peace. Oh,